Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. Hey, what is up everybody? This is Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from structures. And this is a good statics problem. Sorry if I sound nasally, I'm getting over a nasty cold. But uh, you're just going to have to deal with it. Alright, it says find the bending moment in foot kips at joint X. So we've got joints W, X, Y, and Z. We've got loads, 5 kip per foot. This is your distributed load. We've got all these dimensions here. And 30 kip load over here, pulling at Y. Have to remember that Z is on a roller, so we've got a vertical load. Here's EY, and we've got this going on. We've got a WY and a WX. All right, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is solve for this. Well, we got this distributed load, so we need to know the resultant of that. So we need to look at this triangle right in here and solve for the hypotenuse here. So we've got 14 squared is the base plus 10 squared is the height square root of all that what does that give me I get 17 point two zero feet that's that distance from W to X alright so the next thing I need to do is get the resultant so we just take that 17 point two zero multiply that by 5 kips per foot and I get 86 kips 86 kips so right here in the middle of this thing I've got 86 kips and it is acting at half of this distance from W so let's I mean let's look at that 17.2 divided by 2 is going to be 8.6 feet so 8.6 feet is right in the middle of this thing so this is W and it got another 8.6 feet on this side to X okay so it's acting right in the middle of that add those two together you get the whole length of it 17.20 feet and we need that because we need to solve for the reaction at these locations W and Z and I think what we're gonna do is take the moment about W to get ZY and once we do that we can um, we can make a nice cut through X and solve for the moment at X because that's how we're going to do this make make a cut through that joint alright so we've got the result in there the next thing we need to do is take the sum of the moments about W and I'm going to go counterclockwise as positive set that equal to zero and what do I get I get a negative 86.02 not zero two, just eighty six. Eighty six kips times eight point six feet and minus thirty kips times ten feet plus we've got ZY ZY times twenty six feet to ZY. Hopefully you remember how to take the sum of the moments. If you don't, you need to review statics in the Civil Engineering Reference Manual. All right, so what does that give me? That gives me a ZY. Let's cut the chase here. We've got a ZY. I get 39.99. I'm going to take that as 40. All right, so that's 40 kips. Next thing I'm going to do is we need to make that cut through X. So if we make a cut through X, we're introducing a moment, a vertical and horizontal reaction. And let's just draw out this. Oh man, that's kind of ugly, but that's the rest of this uh, beam here. So we've got ZY acting up like this. We just solve for that. We're going to call that 40 kips. We've got a load here at Y, 30 kips, and these we don't know so here's our joint X okay we just made that cut through X now if we take the sum of the moments about X do the same thing counterclockwise positive set it equal to zero okay we've got a moment at X and I have it drawn counterclockwise so we're just gonna call it MX we have to account for the moment at X plus 
it's rotating counterclockwise this 40 kip load 40 kips times what's that distance it is 12 this is 12 feet see I just took it right from over here this is 12 feet over 6 feet down this would be 6 feet so 12 feet over times 12 feet all right so what does that give me it gives me a moment of 480 foot kips it would be a negative which means I drew it wrong so the moment would be going the other way but that's fine we've got what it actually is so 480 foot kips um, that's going to be answer C for you so I guarantee that there's going to be a statics problem on the exam there always is you need to watch for the loads they might throw a load that you might not see on there account for so pay attention to that stuff and again review uh, statics in the civil engineering reference manual hope that helped you out head to civil engineering academy for more tips and tricks thanks bye